वट्सअप गाइज दिस इज रॉनी वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल टोटल टेक्नोलॉजी जोन दिस इज ट्यूटोरियल ट्वेंटी नाइन एंड टूडेज टॉपिक विल बी हाउ टू लोड सी एस बी फाइल यूजिंग लामा इंडेक्स तो बेसिकली इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी विल यूज सम लामा इंडेक्स मॉड्यूल टू रीड डेटा रीड डेटा फ्रॉम सी एस बी फाइल राइट सो दिस इज वन ऑफ द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट ऑफ बिल्डिंग एनी जेनरेटिव AI driven application that your application should be capable of uh, reading data from CSV. I believe we have done the same thing using Langchain and same way we'll be going to do the same thing using Llama index. Okay. So in this tutorial, I'm not going to do any rag or other things. It is just or mainly focusing on loading data from CSV file. So this tutorial will be also very straightforward and the duration will be very uh, like. Um, Uh, like minimum duration i'll try to do it very quickly okay so let's go here uh, so i think uh, this slide is not required here okay so let's delete the slide delete the slide okay okay and the source code is actually available in this link okay so without wasting much time let me uh, start writing the code okay So if you see, I have a dummy data CSV with hundred rows. I'll be I will try to actually load this file. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so first thing first, we'll be going to use a simple directory reader from llama index uh, dot core import. Okay. simple directory reader this will help us to read data from a specific directory and here i'll be just going to use a parser so directory uh, reader will be uh, will help us to read the directory contents and whatever file i'll be going to read it is actually going to help me to uh, uh, parse the content for that we'll be going to use a parser so basically this is not a parser directly but we can call it as a file reader okay so it will be let's say from llama index okay dot readers okay dot file okay so our file reader will be panda csv reader okay so now what will happen so we'll be going to um, create a, a parser object okay as i said this is this is kind of a parser but you cannot call it directly as a csv uh, parser so it will be panda csv reader so i just created an object of parser okay then what will happen we'll be going to create a extractor so extractor so file extractor fe it is basically uh, a dictionary okay right so in the dictionary what will happen Will be going to write dot colon dot csv, okay, and this will be parser, okay, right. So at other csv formats, if required. So this is one of the csv format pandas. If you have other format, you can do it as well. Okay, right. So next thing, what next thing? We'll be going to create something called docs, okay. so docs will be what docs will be simple directory reader okay so simple directory read, uh, reader will read from here this will read from let's say uh, dot slash means from the present working directory right and this is going to take something called file extractor so file extractor will be this fe okay fe right nothing else okay so this is basically a loader okay okay let's execute this thing and see whether we are getting any error or not so no error okay so loader is completed so let's now create the document uh, uh, like read the document actually so loader dot load data right so let's see okay see it is now actually reading okay 
some some internal uh, dependencies are actually required so it will adjust everything accordingly okay meanwhile what i'll do i'll just going to print the docs okay so let it execute okay Okay, still it is taking some time. So it is basically almost one GB if you see here. Yep. So something else is also getting installed. Not sure what is this. <laughs> okay. Some warning is coming. I don't know what warning. Yeah. So basically this is saying something, file is fail to load the file, uh, tutorial it error, this file is not a zip file, okay, but I just said that uh, I just want to read csv file, why it is actually mm, reading this one, that is something uh, strange, okay, okay, so let's see. So it is able to read only for this pptx it is getting error. So now I got this talk. So what we'll do, I'll just going to check the length of this talks. So obviously I have only one file. So um, it will only going to give me one document. Okay. So the length will be one only. Okay. So this entire thing is actually part of this text. Okay. The content of the CSV rows. Okay. So you have to ignore this thing okay so it is saying three okay so why this is three i don't know okay so maybe one is the csv.main.py and this pptx these three things are actually coming so that that is why oh yeah mm, i think yeah hmm. yeah so all these three files are written so i think the first one will be my document okay so if i if you want to know the name of this three file from this directory so basically if you see this is the first file okay so basically this document within the document uh, this is actually document and within the document you have something called uh, this one this text okay this text so what we'll do maybe for doc in docs okay then let's try to write print doc okay let's see so doc in docs okay yep okay So now I can write uh, dot text. Okay. So let's see whether it is only going to give me the text content.
yes so this is the content uh, from the this is this existing file and this is this one so basically my csp is actually part of this the first one so basically uh, i can easily write uh, docs okay so okay so i just want to check i just want to check couple of things extra just hold on uh, so this metadata if docs zero uh, docs uh, doc dot metadata uh, dot file type okay okay so maybe what we'll do i just want to create a condition for doc in docs okay uh, print doc dot metadata uh, doc dot metadata dot file type okay 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 what will happen this is going to give me all all uh, file types whatever is in, uh, like available in this directory okay okay so i will read only this one okay copy okay so what we'll do if so these things you have to understand or else it will be difficult right because we are definitely not going to read everything then what will happen print doc dot next okay okay that's it so it will ignore the other part only it is going to uh, give me the uh, csv rows from the designated file that's it okay that's it simple so see we are actually able to read our csv row okay right it ignored the header as well why it ignored the header because we are using a valid parser okay what is the parser panda csv reader so basically why i am using this panda csv reader because in the upcoming video we will be going to create a analytics uh, application powered by generative ai with the help of llama index and this sort of parser so that time uh, we will be going to use this parser because uh, pandas um, parser will be uh, uh, useful if you are going to uh, work with your data in terms of some pandas related like data frame driven queries okay that is why we are using this okay so that's it guys uh, that's it for today but um, uh, try to uh, watch the entire video and let let me know uh, with some feedback that um, uh, how you guys are finding this playlist what are the things if you uh, 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 like the most and what are the things if you um, uh, where actually you want me to um, um, improve some quality or some content if you have some specific use case you also uh, let me know or you can reach out to me via telegram channel you also write some um, some of your requirement in the youtube uh, comment box if those are possible to do in the uh, youtube video i'll try to do it but uh, if you are uh, if your use case is advanced then i'll highly recommend you to join our live classes we do have live classes as well uh, generally i uh, run those live classes on weekend for more details please uh, reach out to me via my uh, telegram channel i will give you all the details okay so let's come back to our youtube channel so guys if you're watching this video for the first time please uh, try to uh, hit the subscribe button subscribe to our channel hit the like button share our videos with your family and friend and don't forget to hit the bell notification icon so that you will get all the notification from our future uploads and last but not least um, i would like to request you on couple of things guys see this is a very new channel and i'm uploading regular videos on generative ai for last one year and i'm i'm seeing that my videos are getting watched by my subscriber count is not increasing so you guys are just watching or maybe you guys are watching uh, uh downloading the github link from my videos and you guys are just run away so guys please don't do that help me to grow i just need your support uh, 
to grow my community i would like to reach large number of audience and my ultimate objective is to reach uh, bigger number of audience so that i can reach large number of people right so please help me to grow i need your support and active subscription to my channel because the moment you guys subscribe my subscriber count will grow and youtube also going to promote my videos to the large number of audience so this is a this is a small request please help me guys try to subscribe to my channel try to share as much possible with your family and friend and also tell them about the channel and also if you are new to the channel try to watch other playlist as well i created a complete playlist on langchain i recently uh, started this llama index series i recently started a deep learning computer vision with open cb5 and also uh, i think last week i started another playlist on hybrid agi hybrid hybrid agi is actually one of the buzz topic right now so if you are interested please try to please do check those topic as well okay so that's it guys that's it for today we'll see you in the next video till then take care goodbye have a nice day and happy learning